Welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors! Hey everybody, I'm here with Dave and we're going to be brewing some beer since it's Oktoberfest as well as Halloween and we are going to be brewing some pumpkin beer. It's called Smashing Pumpkin. Smashing Pumpkin Ale. And uh, we've got a one gallon brew kit. So we're going to go step by step. Well for starters we're going to start today our brew day off with Extra Special Bitter. Extra Special Bitters by Full Sail. Yep, or yeah. brewery. So we're going to go over everything that we got in the kit, besides the beer. It didn't come with the kit. <laughs> well, we've got a recipe kit. Smashing pumpkin ale. What we got in it was a muslin bag for our specialty grains, which is smashing pumpkin. And we'll steep this like a tea. And we got one packet of hops that we'll add to the boil. So this doesn't take a lot of hops, this yeah, particular this is, beer. And this is our malt extract. This is what the yeast is going to turn into alcohol. We're using dry yeast with this particular batch. Okay. So we've got all our ingredients out. So the next thing we need to do, first we're going to clean this pot, and then we're going to add, uh, is it uh, one, one and a quarter gallons of water in this pot. Okay, so the first step we decided to take is to sanitize all of our products. We have a specific sanitizer that comes with the kit. It's called Star Sand Sanitizer. And uh, one ounce per five gallon. So we have a five gallon tub here and we put all of our um, items that we're going to be using today in the sanitizer. Um, Auto siphon. It says it only needs to be in there for two minutes to uh, sanitize everything. And we have a, uh, a one gallon bottle in there you can't see, it's become invisible. So that's in there as well. So we have one and a half gallons of well filtered water to start with. Uh, we're going to heat the water and we're going to steep our grains for about 10 minutes. Okay, we're going to tie a knot at the end the muslin bag with our specialty grains. Uh, we're going to do this for 10 minutes. Get this wet. There. If you know, well, I don't know if you can see on the camera. Now the water is uh, changing color here. So I'll put 10 minutes on the timer. So we got a nice amber color going now. And this is, is this isn't wort yet, right? Right, we need to add the uh, malt extract. This is just tea. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yes, I have tea. Looks like tea. Yes. So right now we want to, we have the malts here and it's uh, very thick and we want to heat it up so it's easier to pour in. So I've got some hot water, gonna be just putting it into my two cup container and we're just going to put that in there and let it sit for a little while. Okay so after it's steeped uh, for 10 minutes we uh, turned up the heat and it's going to bring it up to a boil and we just toss the bag. <laughs> well I should be used to this heat because that's how hot it gets in the riverside. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful caramel color beer. Well it's caramel colored tea right now, I guess. Yeah, we didn't right. add any sugars yet, so we're going to do that. That'll be the next step. After it's uh, come to a boil, we'll take it off, add the malt extract and the hops addition, uh, and boil for 45 minutes. Okay, so we have boiling now, and we need to uh, move it off the burner because we're going to add the uh, malt extract. And if we add that malt extract in while it's boiling with the heat, It'll scorch the bottom because malt extract is uh, basically pure sugar. Slide the puppy over. Okay, we take it off of the flame. 
And with the malt extract, we go slowly and stir. Now the advantage of us putting it in the uh, heat, it's pretty much uh, coming out pretty good here. So. This is about 1.5 pounds of uh, gold malt extract. This is what the yeast will turn into alcohol. All right, so we have hops here. And to a beer drinker, smelling hops is like smelling... Cocaine. Some other herb. Some other herb. It, it looks like oregano. It looks delicious. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so uh, I wanted to put this in a glass so you could see it better, but there it is. There's not a lot of it that goes into the pumpkin ale, so we're going to put that in now. Let's uh, move it over and start to boil, and then we'll throw it in. And this needs to boil for 45 Five minutes. minutes now. Okay, put that in. Not a lot of uh, hops. This is a Cascade hops, American hops. Forty-five minutes. Forty. Oh, right on. I hit the right mark. There we go. And we have to keep an eye on it so we do not uh, boil over. All right. So that's the flavoring. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. So Dave is a real hop head. He's getting hop high here on the uh, Cascade. Uh, we're probably going to grow some of this in the backyard because it smells so good. Okay, our boiling has done. So we have to? Uh, we have to put the, the unfermented beer, the wort, into an ice bath with water to cool it down as fast as we can. Right. So we're going to fill the seat. Yeah, put, put that in first. Pour it in. Got to break the fever of the, of the wort. Nothing unsanitary should come in contact with the wort. Okay, so we have, we are done uh, with the uh, brewing. We're <laughs> done with the brewing yeah. process. Yep. All right, so now we're going to put it into a, uh, a one gallon bottle and now we're going to ferment it. And uh, we need to pump it from here to the fermenting bottle. There we go, now it's going. There it is. Do it again, one more time. There's not much true, which is the, all the gross stuff at the <laughs> bottom of, uh, which is like malt and hops. There's really not much left. We're trying to get every last drop, so. This kit, particular kit didn't really have too much hops, so we're not gonna have that much sludge. And that's it. Okay, we're putting the fermentation lock on the top of the one gallon jug. It's been uh, sanitized. So now we're going to aerate for about a couple of minutes to give the yeast some oxygen to work with. Okay. So let's take it to, I know exactly where to put it. So we have a closet here. Put it right there. Okay, so about a day it'll start to uh, ferment. Two weeks we'll bottle. And then uh, it'll condition in the bottle for uh, two more weeks and it'll be ready on All Hallows Eve. Yay! Smashing pumpkin ale, and hopefully, uh, 
Turns out okay. <laughs> okay, so here's our beer. It's been fermenting in a dark closet for about a week. And uh, one thing we didn't talk about during the, the brew is the airlock that goes on top, keeps out impurities, lets the gas out. Um, so, I hope you liked this episode of uh, Nibbling with the Neighbors. And if you liked seeing us brew beer, we, uh, we may continue to do that. We may turn it into another channel if people seem to like it. So, I hope you like it, and we'll see you next time.